welcome back. This is Baller Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I'm joined as always by Fei Fong Wong. Today we have Bart Bartholomew, Fatima, and Billy Lee Black with us. This is not my final team. I don't want you thinking that this is, because many of you will be disappointed if this was my final team. But we have a few boss fights coming up. You can switch party members between each fight, so I'm going to use that to the best of my abilities. Unfortunately, I can't get Faye out of there, otherwise I might save him as well. When we last left off, we went through the worst dungeon in the game. I hate it. There's, it's so confusing, and I went over that many, many times while we were going through it. Now it is time to finish up the game. We need to go up here. I have done everything in the game to the best of my knowledge, 100% everything, except for one small little thing. If you leave the dungeon now, which is possible, you can go back to the battling arena, and you can use Ellie's Omni Gear. Well, you you can use it in the Kislev battling for practice, and uh, level two is has been unlocked in the in the battling arena there. But um, if you leave the dungeon, you have to go through the dungeon again, and I'm I'm just not willing to do that to show off that small little itty bitty teensy winty thing. You don't get any like any better items or anything like that. So to me, it's just not worth it. We need to just keep going. We just need to keep going. We're so close to the end. So close, I can taste it. Do you want to jump inside? Yes. Let's go. Down. Where Opiumorph and Deus and Ellie drop down. This is... Deus? What are those four orbs spinning around it? It seems as if the power of those four things is supporting the Senna. So that means that big thing in the middle is the core of Deus. Probably. Who cares about those orbs? Let's just crush the core! That's what he's supposed to sound like. I don't like it. Whatever. Striking directly at the center rather than using the fuel unnecessarily. That is one strategy, but I believe another plan of attack would be to defeat its surroundings first. If we decide to attack the supporting orbs first, then it might be wise to leave the battles up to us. We should be able to do something about them without using up Faye's power. That will allow him to use the full power of Xenogears to defeat Deus. And yes, of course, to save Ellie. Whether we do a direct strike to the core or take down the supports first, I guess that is best left up to Faye to decide. Thanks everyone. To attack Deus directly, or to take out its supports first. I wonder which is best. So here's the here's the party swapper that I was talking about. Now, uh, for those of you that have played Final Fantasy IX, it's very similar to that. Uh, Unfortunately, these things are rotating around. I sure hope you can hear me because these are very loud in my he in my headphones. Um, these orbs rotating around are basically mini bosses. I am going to be taking them all on. Each of them allows ability or a technique from Deus, and um, they each have 40, uh, well, around 50,000 uh, HP. I should be able to handle them. Shouldn't be too bad of a too big of a problem, but I want to save as much fuel as I can, and I choose you! So we take on the first mini-boss here. I don't know, are they mini-boss? Or this is a boss run? I'm calling this a boss run. I don't know what this is. That's the best way I'm going to put it. I don't know what it is. Go, attacks! And no, you don't get a heal. Fuel drain. Damn you. Damn you to hell. 50 fuel. You stole 50 fu fuel each. So. Since Faye's going to be um, pretty much used in every fight, I'm going to just try to charge for now. Because as you saw, we're doing max damage. Max damage. This is Marloot. Um, so, let's see. Let's look here. Marloot has... 54,000 HP, so we need to do this quite a few times, but we're going to keep charging on Xenogears. No point in using Death Blows. Oh, defended! Defended like a champ. 
and charge again because it keeps doing that. Damn my loot. I don't even know what that symbol is. I don't recognize it, to be honest, at all. Uh, you know what? Yeah, is that is that enough for the victory here? Wait, I can't use I can't use death blows. It is not letting me use death blows at all. That's very disappointing. What the hell are you doing? Oh, doing your massive attack. I see how it is. I see. We're gonna keep charging on Xeno Gears though. Should be good. Yeah, I can't use the can't use any of the gear death blows. Defeated Deus Pillar, sealed Deus's fuel drain. Awesome. And away it goes. You get one experience because they're trying to be nice to you, I guess. I don't understand it. And away it goes. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to change my setup just a little bit here. Just a little bit. Um, I have the GNR GNR S50s on there. I need to get... What am I going to do here? Because he's not being used for anything. I'm going to put a Z charger on him. And... Uh, where's one of some of my frame HPs? There we go. Frame HP 30. Okay. One more battle to go with these guys. Should be fun. I did hit it. Thank you. Okay, so with that being Marloot, this next one should be Harloot? Harloot. Move one at a time. What does that do? Damn, Marloot. Another 54,000 HP. I don't, I don't understand. Okay. So... Go strong attacks for almost max damage. So the, the Marloot has a little bit higher. De no, this is Harloot. Sorry. Uh, so this one has a little bit of higher defense. Oh, only only Billy can move here. That is what that meant. Damn you! Go impact gun. There we go. Over, over nine thousand. Well, over ten thousand damage. Almost said. Almost said it. I still refuse. All right. So level one death blows are where it's going to be at then. Hard snap. So so much for having. Yeah. There we go. Harloot is down. And now, um, they just can't use heaven's anointment. Uh, Harloot, oh, I had to uh, switch up with Marloot. Uh, this one only has 45,000 HP. You get uh, one experience point. And with two of the four out of the way, it is time to switch our party. So I will be right back after I get the party all set up. Okay, got this all set up. It's the same setup as I was doing before. Pretty much three GNR S50s on everybody. And I guess I will chase this one down. This should be Sundal, if I remember right. Um, but it's always possible I don't remember, right? This is Sundal. Okay, targeting counterattack target. Okay, good. It is going to be on the steer. All right, special options. Fix frame HP. Cannot fix frame HP. Okay. So that changes my strategy up a bit, but... Should still be able to take this guy out. Yeah, no, not gonna be a problem. Not gonna be a problem at all. Wow. Did I not... Did I not set that up right? Or I did. Okay. Go Dynafight! Because I'm pretty sure that's going to break the damage barrier since it's two hits, technically. Yeah, there we go. 12,000 damage. Defeat. Down goes Sundle. Now Deus can't heal anymore. 
Okay, well that was very, very easy. I remembered Sando being a lot, m lot tougher than that. So three out of four are down. We get one experience point for that. Yeah, getting the uh, the GNRS 50s, it's it's almost game breaking, but I do love it so very much. Okay, so last one. We're just gonna head right into it. I'm kind of disappointed that I could not heal Xenogears, though. But seeing how quick this is going, shouldn't be a problem. Earthly Anointment for Metatron. I don't know exactly what that does, but this is the ability we're looking to seal. Earthly Anointment. It does quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. Okay. And this guy is beefy. So we're going to have Xenogears attack as well because he's got the Z-Charger on. Go, Dynafight! Break the damage barrier! Thank you! Over 12,000 damage! Okay. Go, Repu! Did not break the damage barrier. I am disappointed. But Bomberhead is probably going to be close to enough to finish this guy off. 12,000. Down goes Metatron. An Earth Anointment ability is down. So we've defeated the three pillar, the four pillars of Deus. Get another experience point, which is greatly appreciated, I guess. And it is time to bring in my final party. Process of elimination should give you a general idea of what I'm doing, but who will it be? Be right back and you'll find out. Now that Deus has been weakened, I guess you could say, uh, his HP actually is down. And here is the final party, Emeralda and Satan. Did you really think it was going to be anybody else? Really? Okay, so let's go in. It's time to take on Deus. He's kind of cool looking, actually. Oh, and because he starts off with 40,000 HP, because this is how, um, because we weakened him, he sends his Seraphs out. Cannot target anybody else, so it's just up to destroy him. Deus, he blocks it, it still does 5,000 damage. Should not be too difficult, even though Xenogears is so hurt. Even though he is so hurt right now. We're going to go for level 2 death blows against Deus here. Just trying to get as much damage in as I can. Like I said, he's only got uh, 40,000 HP. In come the Seraphs. For 600 damage. Not too bad. Even though I wish they would not hit Xenogears. Okay, that last one did like no damage. Whatever. Go! Xenogears! Attack again for another 9,000 and... This, this fight is becoming much, much easier than I remember the first time I played it when I did not get these equips. Another 6,000, another 12,000. Go, Devil Hold! Is she really gonna throw him up in the air now? Okay, 15,000 damage though. And down goes Deus. that boss fight. Well, it is very difficult if you don't get the upgrades to the point where it is the most insane boss run ever, but if you do get the upgrades, that is how it turns out. 
It's too bad. It's too bad. The game has to end today, unfortunately. What happened? My gear won't budge anymore. The Zohar modifier has ceased functioning. That's probably the reason why our gears can't move anymore. There is only a slight energy response coming from the core now. What about Ellie? What's happening to her inside of that thing? The Deus system's bind on her should have worn off now. So why aren't we getting any kind of response? I don't think we hurt her in that battle, too. You don't think we hurt her? No? Faye, calm down. The sensors are picking up a response from a life form within.